It's Sunday, but this isn't your average church service. A young crowd coming to worship at Irving Plaza, a New York City concert venue where a pastor is breaking the mold. Most of the time I have a priest collar. As you can see, I just left it outside. Uh, Carl Lentz deadpans and dresses in a lot of leather. He name drops famous friends when he explains his belief. Sometimes God just does what he does. Like, I don't know why Kevin Durant was born as a seven footer. And he's attracting a lot of followers to his church, Hillsong, New York City. Lentz estimates there are 5,000 worshipers every Sunday. We have no idea what we're doing, by the way. <laughs> Hashtag. Speaking of hashtags, Pastor Carl is pictured all over Instagram with Justin Bieber. He says he's the unofficial chaplain for the New York Knicks. He baptizes church members in the rooftop pools of trendy hotels and check out the band. On a recent night in Newark, New Jersey, 9,000 people came out to see Hillsong United. The music is about Jesus and it's wildly popular. Two albums released this year debuted on the Billboard Top 200 list, one of them at number five. The frontman, Joel Houston, is the co-founder of Hillsong NYC. The people who are coming here, the people who are buying these thousands of tickets, are they coming to church or are they coming to a concert? Well, I think a lot of them probably think they're coming to a concert. Uh, we like to think of it as church. You know? The band grew out of an Australian megachurch founded by Houston's parents 30 years ago. Hillsong claims to have 57,000 followers with outposts all over the world, including the first one in the United States in the middle of Manhattan, where megachurches haven't found a footing before. Why did you want to bring Hillsong to New York? Our church fits here because we're kind of like a group of vagabonds some way, like out of our depth. And New York has a lot of people like that, like working hard, dreaming big, and just hoping for the best. So. Lentz says he doesn't preach any one religion. He just wants people to find a relationship with Jesus. It's okay by him if people are drawn in because they're fans of the band or because they're hoping to see one of his celebrity friends. But he rejects the idea that his church is popular just because it seems trendy. My mind, a hipster is a dude who lives in Williamsburg. He's got like, you know, a cool beard and he's like effortlessly weird but cool and they just kind of float around. That, I, that's my definition of a hipster, so I don't think that's us. Lentz says Hillsong is open to everyone. Given the success in New York, there are already plans to bring the Australian megachurch to more American cities.